Hello and welcome to another episode of Who's Your Date? I use one and only dating game show, which would technically make us their favorite. So, uh, you know what? First, we're going to meet the daters. We're going to go to Elena. We'll be right back. And we're going to get into a round of questioning. Hi, I'm Elena Jackson, and we're ready to meet one of our lucky contestants. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, my name is Emily Ferguson. I am a freshman here at IU, and I'm ready to find a man. Good. Yeah. Well, you came to the right place. What do you look for when you look for a guy? Um, I can be short, skinny, and have glasses. So hopefully, hopefully that's what he looks like. A true hottie. Yeah. Seriously, I'm all about physicality. Like, I mean, if you're stupid, that's all right. As long as you're hot. Good. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Hi. I'm name. My name is Katie Burden. I am currently a freshman, and I am a women's soccer player here at IU. Are you looking for love? I'm looking for love and a little bit more. What all do you look for in a guy? Uh, usually the body and the personality, and that's basically it. Okay, well good luck. Let's get to know our next hopeful. Hi, I'm Christina Miller. I'm a sophomore here at IU, and I'm an art major. I'm single and looking for a date. Good, well, what do you look for in a guy? Uh, someone who likes to chill, listen to music, and just enjoy the real things in life. Do you look for a hot bot at all? Well, I, I definitely have to be attracted to them. Okay, that's pretty important. <laughs> Our daters, and um, tonight, Brandon, you're going to be picking one of them, and you'll be going to Starbucks in the Union for a nice little night out. Yeah. All right. <laughs> you can tell. All right, so why don't you uh, start off with a question for all of them. Let's get to know them a little better. All right. Let's <laughs> start with uh, contestant number one. Um... What would your ideal date be if I were to bring my parents along? Probably be a little picnic on a uh, warm summer day on, on the beach, maybe. All right. Okay. Yeah, all right. Creative. Okay. <laughs> what do you want next? Uh, contestant number two. Same question. Oh, the same question. Yeah. Um, well, probably before we go, we'd have to play Scrabble first. And then we could go to like Burger King and order off the 99 cent menu just so your parents wouldn't feel like you're begging them for money. And then if the dollar movie was still open, we could see a flick for really cheap. Well, <laughs> I guess, you know, she wouldn't do too much of a dent in anyone's wallet. So yeah, I hear that. I hear that. At least she ain't out for the money. <laughs> yeah, that's good to know. Uh, okay. Contestant number three. Um, we could spend the day on the boat, maybe, in Lake Monroe. I'm sure your parents would enjoy that on a nice, beautiful summer day. Yeah. That's nice. Only bad thing, we can't swim. Nah, I'll just play it. I'll just play it. <laughs> okay. All right, well, <laughs> let's take up another question. All right, uh, contestant number two. Uh, what's, what's one of your most embarrassing moments? Um, well... Probably when I was in my car and um, I backed up and hit someone and I tried to make it their fault when obviously everyone knew that it was mine. So it's kind of embarrassing because I thought it would work, but it really didn't. <laughs> when keeping it real goes wrong. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, Contestant number three. Um, my most embarrassing moment was probably... Uh, a couple years ago, I was jumping off a rope swing into a river, and uh, when I came up, my top was missing, and there's a bunch of families around and stuff. <laughs> Rated R. You sure your parents don't want to go on that date? <laughs> uh, contestant number one. Um, we have to go way back. So maybe in fifth grade when I was going down the slide, somebody hit me, and I peed my pants <laughs> going down the slide. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, that's, that, a good wet dip. I think you won that. All right, uh, contestant number three. How would you feel about me getting a Brazilian wax? <laughs> um, actually, I mean, it sounds really nice. <laughs> <laughs> I have one, so. <laughs> Ooh, all right. We set up for one a little bit more, and we did. Wow. Uh, Contestant number one. Um, what do I think about you having a Brazilian wax? Yeah, how would you feel if I uh, if I got a Brazilian wax? Uh, smooth and nice and easier to do stuff, maybe. All right. <laughs> all right. Everyone's kind of hinting. Contestant number two, how would you feel? 
Um, well, I guess it's personal preference. I mean, I wouldn't spend the money, but um, if you want to, go ahead. Right on. All right, what's uh? Let me see. Contestant number one. Uh, how often do you work out, and would you let me tone your glutes? Tone my what? The glutes. The glute is a muscle. It's technically your butt, so it's kind of a. Um. Yeah. I work out almost every day, and I would love for you to tone up my <laughs> glutes. You would love to? <laughs> wow, that's what I thought I heard. Wow. Oh, all right. So. Contestant number two. Um, actually, I'm a pretty much work alcoholic. Um, I actually wouldn't need you to tone up my glutes. I could probably help you tone up yours, but um, you could look at how good I've done if you want to, but wow. I don't know. What do your workouts <laughs> consist of, number two? Um, I like to run a lot, and I actually weight train as well. Okay. And I dance too, so I mean, but that's not like professional dancing. That's just on the dance floor. <clears throat> All right, so. Yeah. She like nice mix of like cut a rug. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. What about you, contestant number three? Um, I really don't work out, but I have good genes, so I look, I mean, physically I am pretty good in shape. But um, I do ride my bike around campus a lot, so my glutes are probably in great shape, I'm sure. Just don't agree. <laughs> don't agree. Well, I think we're, uh, we've got a couple questions in. We're going to go take a commercial break. We'll be right back. And Brandon is going to have to make a tough choice to eliminate one of our contestants. I don't know if I'd be able to after responses like that. I know, so, man. It's going to be tough. Yeah, we'll take a break. We'll be right back. Good. Yeah, that was really good. Uh, we Amplified. 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 I'm Drew, and your blood donations help save my life. I really enjoy playing baseball. I've played all my life. I felt a lump in my stomach, so we went to the doctor just to check it out and see what, what it was. Turns out, actually, it was rhabdomyosarcoma, which is a rare soft tissue cancer, and it called for 47 weeks of chemo and 23 radiation treatments. You know that you're never guaranteed anything and you just can't take anything for granted. I'd beg the doctors just to give me a transfusion just so I could play that night. Whenever I needed it, they had it. But I'm sure other kids probably had to do without because a couple times they had to call other hospitals to get blood so I could have my hemoglobin or platelets or whatever. Please give blood. It's a small step. It's not really invasive or anything. It's just do it because there's so many people that are in need of it. Give like your life depends on it. His did. Call 1-800-GIVE-LIFE. Thank you. All right, and we're back now. Brandon, it's time for you to pick someone to get rid of. I know it's hard. We both heard those answers, but who's it going to be? Um, contestant number three. Uh, I'm sorry, contestant three. Can come over and meet Brandon. Say your hellos and goodbyes. No, it's all right, but you're missing out on the Brazilian wax. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's uh, nice to meet you. <laughs> Letting a good thing walk away, Brandon. All right, we're here with Christina. After that elimination, Christina, how do you feel? You know, I'm a little sad because, honestly, I thought I had the best answers, but I guess he's really not into fun and cool tricks like me. I think he's missing out, really. Yeah, I mean, the Brazilian wax, come on. Who doesn't like that? Um, why do you think you did get eliminated? I don't know, maybe I was a little too open for him, or simply maybe he just didn't like the sound of my voice. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> well, let's take away round two questions. Pick a question, pick a contestant, ask away. Alright, uh, 